Quackgrass, also known as couchgrass or witchgrass, is a tough weed that plagues many residential properties. If left undisturbed, one plant can quickly spread to cover entire lawns, fields, or gardens. In this video, we'll show you how to identify quackgrass, how to get rid of quackgrass from your property, and how to prevent quackgrass from growing back. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about lawn care, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Quack grass leaf blades are flat, with a dull green or light blue-green color. The blades taper to a pointed tip. They can grow 3 to 12 inches in length and up to half an inch wide. Quackgrass blades are hairy on upper-facing surfaces, but smooth on lower-facing surfaces. This plant does possess rhizomes underneath the ground. They are slender and white with sharp tips. When this plant flowers, the seed heads are 2 to 6 inch long spikes. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check around your property to confirm the weed's presence or find activity hotspots. Quackgrass is a cool season perennial. It grows best in moist, well-drained soil where the turf is thin. When inspecting lawns for quackgrass, look out for sporadic, singular clumps of this weed. Keep in mind, quackgrass can produce flowers and seeds from May to September. Common sites where this weed can occur include, but are not limited to, lawns, drainage ditches, roadsides, vacant fields, gardens, pastures, and along creeks and rivers. After identifying your weed and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE and remember to keep people and pets out of the treated areas until products dry completely. If you're situated in the southern United States with warm season grasses, we recommend Certainty Turf Herbicide. This herbicide offers the selective control of weeds in warm season turf. For spot applications, mix 0.75 ounces of the product into 2 gallons of water to apply over 1,000 square feet. To enhance this product's efficacy, mix in a surfactant like Nanotech. Nanotech is a non-herbicide product designed to improve the adhesion and penetration of pesticides onto treated surfaces. Add 2 teaspoons of Nanotech per 1 gallon of this solution you've made. If quackgrass is growing in cool season turf or where plants shouldn't be, like on sidewalks or other paved areas, then consider a non-selective herbicide like Eraser 41% Glyphosate. This non-selective herbicide will kill any plant it is applied to. Just mix 2.5 fluid ounces of eraser into 1 gallon of water to treat up to 300 square feet. For either of these products, we recommend you mix and apply your herbicide with a handheld sprayer or a backpack sprayer. If using eraser, be sure to label your sprayer explicitly for non-selective herbicide use to prevent cross-contamination in the future. Spot treat any weed you've found during your inspection. Use a fan or cone spray pattern to ensure the leaves are fully coated and spray the weed to the point of wet but not runoff. Be sure to spray on calm days when temperatures are not too hot and when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. When applied properly, affected weeds will yellow and begin to die. Conduct follow-up applications as necessary. A reapplication with certainty may be made after 4 to 10 weeks. After applying a racer, you should see results within 2 to 4 days, but a second application may be made after 4 weeks. Prevention is essential to keeping weeds in check. Even after applying herbicides, the best way to stop weed activity is to ensure it can't happen. Not only does quackgrass spread through rhizomes, but it will also create new plants by spreading seeds. The best way to prevent new plant growth from seed is by applying a pre-emergent herbicide like Barricade. Barricade granular pre-emergent herbicide will form a chemical barrier in your soil that will prevent weed seeds from sprouting and emerging. Depending on your turf grass species, you'll apply 1.5 to 4 pounds of product per 1,000 square feet. After application, water in the product with at least half an inch of water. Make an application in the fall to stop seeds from germinating in late winter to early spring. An additional application may be made after 6 months for year-round weed prevention. 
In addition to pre-emergent herbicides, we also recommend you promote the health of your turf to reduce the conducive conditions that allow weeds and disease to take hold. Mow your grass at proper intervals to maintain a thick growing density. A lawn dense with taller, trimmed grass is better able to choke out weeds and prevent them from establishing. Reduce the shade cast on your lawn by trimming overgrown shrubbery and tree branches, rake away leaf litter and pick up any debris, and employ a proper watering schedule to provide the local grass with enough water to strengthen its roots, but not so much that will encourage weeds. Many grasses require one inch of water every week. Apply the water all at once in the morning so it has time to seep into the ground without evaporating in the sun. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can remove quack grass from your property, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.